Hello and welcome back everybody to day 11 of our Alpha 19 experimental series. My name is Lainey from Early Gaming, and if you missed last episode, me and Mr. Reach had a bit of a looting adventure, but today we're feeling a little bit different. We're feeling like doing a little bit of questing. So we have to wait till Hugh opens up, maybe he gives us a quest for an awesome POI. If he doesn't, no big deal, you know, we will go where the day takes us. But I wanted to show you guys a couple of things. Um, yesterday we got a new shovel. It is beautiful. So, so great. We also have a new wrench. And this dropped from a zombie last night, I think at some point. I don't know if I got this on video. But I just wanted to show you guys that we did get a level 6 knife. And this is going to come super in handy. Because it turns out there has been a new patch. Now, somehow the game is still alive, so I'm really thankful. Hopefully, we won't be getting any weird bugs, but there's a lot more animals out in the forest now, and I am so excited. I'm really looking forward to getting all that delicious meat. And speaking of meat, I have gathered a little bit of what I have right now because we're finally going to do something that you guys have been asking me to do for a while. We're finally going to make some food. We can make fish tacos. Yes, it's only two. Okay, I understand. It's a pathetic amount. But this is really all we have. <laughs> we haven't started a farm yet. We haven't done anything like that, that, anything that we're supposed to do. But at the very least, we'll stop eating our canned goods that are gonna be beneficial in the future. While we wait for Trader Hugh to open, I wanted to show you guys that yesterday we got a couple of points and I went ahead and placed some. Uh, we have a point now in Living Off the Land, which allows us to make some seeds, which is gonna be great. And also our farm plots will be cheaper. We really need to get going on some farming very soon. I just, I can't decide if I'm moving yet or if I'm staying in this place. Please let me know in the comments what you'd rather me do. I think we can make this cabin work. But it's going to be a little bit of a, it's going to be a little bit of work. And we'll be doing that very, very soon. I've also added another point in the Daring Adventure. I get two extra choices now for rewards and 10% more dukes, which is part of the reason why we're going looting today. I suppose we don't really have to go looting. We went looting before, so we're pretty rich at the moment. But I still need a few things. And most importantly, I need some experience. Um, there's a couple of things that we got yesterday that were key. We got an auger recipe, which was a lifesaver because now you can't craft it by learning it from your skills. If we take a look at our auger, is at level three because we have added a point in Miner 69er. And that means we need 10 motor tool parts to be able to make this thing. We have nine at the moment. We definitely have the steel. We have everything else. So we just gotta get farming a little bit or get a little bit lucky from the trader. Maybe even get a chainsaw or something we can scrap. Just anything, okay? So we can actually make this thing. Now, of course, I would like to make a higher level one, but that's why we need to go questing. We need to go looting uh, simply because we don't have the points to put them in to anything else at the moment. And I had to put a point in lockpicking. We were out of lockpicks. There's nothing really else to say about that. I needed some lockpicks, so I went ahead and used it. Good morning, Hugh. I have a job for you. Yeah, he has a buried supplies, which I suppose we'll go ahead and take. I mean, I need a quest. I need a quest hard. And let's see what he has for his inventory. Oh, I can right, put my nerdy then, glasses on, on and I believe get a better deal. All right, he restocks on day 13. And he has a first aid kit schematic for 1400. I think that's definitely worth it. He also has Pistol Pete Volume 7. And he also has the Fireman's Almanac Volume 3, which is very interesting now because it increases attack speed with axes. And now you can use the, the battle axe, so to speak, the, the big axe. So I wonder if that increases the speed with that one too. That's very interesting. I mean, we're buying all of these. I just got to come back for it. I only do business for All right, nothing else of note, nothing else of interest, just a little bit of glue and some other things. So we got our quest, we got our berry supplies. Let's go ahead and head over there really quickly and see if we find any treasure. <gasps> oh, yes. Okay, okay, I told you guys, things have gotten a little bit ruthless, okay, in the forest. And here we have our first prey. Or predator, whatever you want to call it. I got him, I got him. Okay, we're gonna have to use the pistol, I think. Just to be safe, you know? Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> we should have shot more aggressively, but I didn't realize that they had so much health. But there we go. Ha ha ha. Our first meal. Oh, so exciting. So, so exciting indeed. Guys, I know. Maybe it's a little bit treacherous now, out and about. I'm sure the bears are a problem. And yeah, to be fair, the wolves are also a little bit tough. But you gotta think about it this way, guys. This is food. This is free food. 
and you can't pass up on a free meal, okay? If anybody knows me, anybody knows my Discord, it's basically a food Discord. So I think that transcends into seven days to die. And I can't be happier. I really can't be happier about the fact that we're getting so much food. You know, every time you get attacked by those bears, you know, every time you get attacked by the wolves, just think to yourself, this is a free meal. Make it positive and you will thrive. All right, finally we found it. Okay, so we can make muffle connectors. Yeah, this is all right. Not the greatest, but all right. And we made a crater here. Yes, I was given great suggestions on how to find treasure. And, uh, you know, I just went ahead and did my own thing anyway. <laughs> because why would I pay attention to great, great things? Ah, oh, sweet. We can, we can light things on fire now. Fire looks so much different now on Alpha 19. This is incredible. Let's we'll slug these out really quickly. Don't hit me. It's rude. And there we go. Nice amount of experience. Well worth it. And now we're gonna head back and turn in our quest. We didn't go very far. And let's see if he has another quest. I mean, they're a little bit far away. There's a deer. There's a deer. All right, baby. Yes! <laughs> oh, give me that meat. Give me that sweet meat. I, I'm telling you, I'm gonna eat like a queen. Incredible. I mean, I should become a hunter. I, I might want to put points into that now because they are prevalent enough that I feel like the 20% more or whatever from harvesting animals is going to be quite, quite good. But I mean, I, it also makes me wonder if, like, I'm already gonna have enough meat, so why do I need the point, you know? I guess we'll see, we'll see. Once we get cooking, everything will be made clear. And here's some corn too, which I desperately need. But I'm gonna come back later, I'm gonna come back later. Okay, we're, we're gonna make that farm. And that'll probably be what we will work on tomorrow. Because I do want to make a farm. I want to upgrade some things in the horde base. And perhaps, um, beautify our, our cabin. Okay? It's going to be beautiful. And it's going to be useful. It's no longer going to be a dump. It's going to be a quaint cabin. A home. Hello, Hugh. Well, well, I guess you ain't what so is my gift? Okay. <gasps> a ratchet. Oh, yep. Yeah, I think that's better. That's better. I mean, the, the leather hood is cool and all, but I don't need it. And obviously, I already know volume six. Ratchet is really the only choice. All right. Let's see if he has any food here. Um. Well, he's got a lot of candy, so that's great. We have jailbreakers. Yes. Okay. Salvage harvest. Uh, yeah, because I need to go around and do some of that. So go ahead and take it. Bartering. You know what? We're just buying all of them. Okay. And mining harvest. I think... I think it's fine to start spending our money a little bit more liberally now. Okay, before we leave, I had put a point into lockpicking because we don't have any other way to get lockpicks. And I have brought all the resources that I need to craft 20. Okay, we've let those lockpicks crafting. And the reason why I'm not taking them with me is because even though I did buy a jailbreaker candy, I have a lot of saves that I've left unopened in a lot of different places. So what I think I'll do is I'll just finish my loot runs and then one of these days we'll go around in the amount of time that we have and try to open all of them with the one jailbreaker or two jailbreakers or whatever. I think that would be quite beneficial. We are going to be heading to this quest here. It's just a bits away. It's not the worst, but it looks like it might be in a new town, so I'm really looking forward to seeing what's on this side of the map. With the motorcycle, the ride to this quest should be a pre- Oh, yes. Another one. Another one. Okay, okay, okay. We're gonna shoot it. We're gonna shoot it. <gasps> and there's chickens too. What is happening today? Die, 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 die. <laughs> okay, okay, that was a little bit more difficult. I need to learn that they really don't die that quickly. I don't have that much damage. Uh, let me move this off because it's gonna get really annoying. Hello, zombie. All right, there's a party. All right, there's several zombies coming for me and this does not carve up quickly. All right, all right. All right, I'll take care of you first. Goodbye. You too. <laughs> Let me carve my meal in peace. Whee! <laughs> oh, guys, I love it. It's a new town. Oh, and they have a waterworks. 
Oh, this is it. This is the life. Oh, and the desert's over there. Oh, this is nice. This is nice. And we're really close to, to our house for the quest here. Excellent. I, I haven't found any, any more creatures, but I don't doubt that there will be more. <laughs> oh, and this thing here, too. I think it has some crops. But this is the home. This is the place. Let's go ahead and start up our quest. Oh, after we take care of this lady. Okay, here we are. This is the home. And it is a beautiful new town, as you can see. Very cool. It is half desert, half forest. Something really to look for. There's another creature. What is happening? I'm never going to be out of food ever again. Ah, that's it. Oh, life is good. Life is good. Goodbye, Zombo. There we go. How dare you interrupt me? Oh yeah, it is hot in there. I cannot go down that way. Mm-mm. No, 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 no. My outfit does not allow it. Does not allow it at all. I need to get myself some, some, you know, desert weather clothes, I think. That would be most beneficial. And I'm sure I saw a chicken or something, but... For now, I think we'll, let's just get the quest started, okay? Because that way, maybe we'll make it back to the trader before, before they close. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Good thing I just rushed in. I was not careful at all. Oh, it pays off for once, guys. For once, it pays off to be completely careless. Oh, we get to use our ratchet for the first time. Oh, this thing is nice. Uh, yeah, that was nice. Now, I was informed that those brass radiators, now you won't get the radiator if you do it with a pick. Which apparently was a thing in Alpha 18, but now in Alpha 19, it's not a thing. Okay, if you don't do it with the with the wrench or the ratchet or whatever the new things are, you don't get the brass radiator. So that would be really unfortunate. Oh, hello, Zombo. Goodbye, Zombo. You too. You too. Go away. Go away. Give me all the goods. Okay, give me all the loot. And so far, so good. Oh, there's another one. Oh, I'm rich. I'm going to be able to make so much ammo. Oh, I love making ammo. Oh, and two new books. Urban Combat Volume 2? <laughs> yes! <laughs> Learn to craft cigars. Uh, do 10% more damage to safes. Uh, yeah, I will take that. Because once we we craft our auger, we can open up the safes with the auger. Fairly easily. At least the small ones. Okay, and there's like a little bit of a room here. I don't know if this is the path. But it is a path. And it has led us to some loot. Okay. Get him! Oh, I'm loving the new fire effect on this. Before, it used to be quite annoying, but now it's really nice and moody. All right, we got a sawed-off shotgun mod schematic. That's really nice. Okay, we'll go ahead and turn on our lamp again. And here's another one. This is the, the third one, I think, here. That's incredible. Oh, we're gonna be rich. Gonna make so much ammo. It's going to be great. And I don't doubt there's more zombies here. I just don't put Yuck! <laughs> what was I doing? What was that? <laughs> Yuck! <laughs> oh, what is wrong with me? I meant to say like a war cry, like yar! And instead I said yuck! <laughs> oh no, that's embarrassing. That's okay, that's okay. We keep it real here, okay? And now you get to see what my war cry would be like. It would be pathetic. Excellent. New books. Do 10% more damage with clubs. I mean, you see what I'm seeing? Because that's awesome. Uh, Shotgun Messiah Volume 2. Uh, craft special ammunition to breach safes and vaults. That's going to be great because I am also a shotgun spec. So very, very exciting. One day I will find a shotgun and all will be well. But look at this. We found knuckle wraps level 6. Unfortunately, I can't really use those. We don't have the spec. And, uh, that's that. <laughs> that's that. We're not going that. We will do a melee series, I think, with a, with a little bit of a punchy spec. And that would be really fun. But for now, I don't think that's a thing. Uh, what do we have here? Metal sp Oh, yes. Okay, let me get rid of some junk here. Oh, wonderful. Yes. It lowers enemies' armor. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. That will work. That will work indeed. 
at how, look how much stuff we have. <laughs> it's crazy. Uh, luckily, we have our motorcycle now. So everything's well, okay? Oh, an iron shovel. Uh, it's a level one. It honestly is not better than what we have. So don't worry about it. Don't look at it. It's nothing. It's not good. Uh, this one's new, so that's it's good, but it's bad, right? Because now we didn't get any lead. Oh, <gasps> yes, guys. Yes. Okay, 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 okay. This is why we loot. Okay, this is why we loot. Okay, I, I, I can't be more excited than I am right now. If you take a look-see over here, we can now make a level 3 auger because we have put a point into Miner 69er, okay? And we have nine motor tool parts at home. We were one short from absolute triumph. And now we got it. All we need to be able to make now is a bicycle handlebar and we got ourselves an auger. On day... What day is today? On day 11. Guys, this is why you go out and loot. Okay? Yes, don't be satisfied. Don't be complacent with the things that you have. And look at this. Two more of these. Incredible. Incredible. You know, sometimes lucky and I think today is one of those days. I don't really want to use it anymore. There's another one. This house is incredible. This house is incredible. Don't miss out on this place. I, I forgot what the quest was called, but I'm going to look it up. I'm going to look it up before I turn it in. Oh, we got a new baggie with some ammo. I'll take. But look, another one. I think this is the seventh? Something like that? That's a lot of brass radiators, guys. That is a lot of them. Uh, I think we can wrench this, too. Oh, there we go. Some additional parts. I will take it. Get some food. I will never pass on food. Oh, hello, Zombo. <laughs> Goodbye, Zombo. Another beaker. Looking good, looking good. More cloth I will take. And let's go ahead and loot this kitchen. I can hear another zombie around here. What? Got a lucky looter book? And I can hear them outside. That's fine. That's fine. I think I think we're safe at the moment. Okay, here we go. We got Lucky Looter Volume Seven. Find more medical supplies and loot. Yes, please. Uh, we have the cornbread recipe, but we already had it. And this too. I guess I will keep it because it is worth a, a nice amount. I mean, a, a nice enough amount. And we do need it. Oh yeah, she's outside. She'll be fine. Yeah, yeah. Just stay out there. Don't worry about me. I'm just minding my own business here. Oh, there's a whole basement to this. Nice. For more items, I will take it. Why is this guy not dead? Okay, there he goes. <laughs> Goodbye, zombos. Very nice. Oh, another workbench. All right. We got a mine. Uh, yeah, guys. I'm really tempted to put that in our horde base. If I don't have to scrap it, I will go ahead and use it. <laughs> Get deleted. Get deleted. And I think that's it. Yeah, return to the trader. That's that. This house was wonderful, guys. Uh, let me see what it was. Tier 2 clear. Old Victorian 12. House Old Victorian 12. It's really quite nice. I'll leave that zombie be. No big deal. And I could gather these up. Just a little bit more cloth, but I'm doing really good on cloth. So I can't... <gasps> Nobody saw that. It never happened. Okay. Thank you. All right. And now we have plenty of time to go turn this into the trader. So we're looking great. Uh, I was hoping we would find maybe a couple more creatures on the way. We will stop for any of them. Oh, there's another one. There's another one. Did I scare it off already? I don't think so. Yes. <laughs> My aim is true. And honestly, bonus damage is insane right now on sneak damages. It's too good. It's too good. I'm, I'm really regretting not going agility again, but I just did an agility series. So we'll, we'll, we'll explore agility in Alpha 19 because I do think that the bonus damage has gotten pretty crazy. And already I was able to basically take down everything with one shot. Most zombies at least with one shot. Uh, two shot for the radiated and so on. Uh, maybe two to four shots depending on the game stage. But it, it was pretty easy. Let's just say. 
And now without it, now with the now with the bonus, I don't even know. And that was wonderful. That was an egg. That was worth it. That was worth the stop. Oh, I need eggs so badly. I'm gonna make myself the the most amount of pies anybody has ever made. Uh, we'll be working on that very soon. But for now, let's head back to the trader. Turn this in. Grab another one. Beep, 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 never mind. There's another animal there, but I, I already spooked it. Never mind. I am a natural born assassin. Go down, lady. Oh, no. <laughs> what? My bike, it's drowning. If this was real life, that would have been a big yikes moment, huh? That would have been a big, a big, a big no-no. Luckily, we are in a game where everything is forgivable, even death itself. Yeah, we beelined it to Hugh, so we made it in time. Yes. And now let's are let's get our reward. Here? I don't care. <laughs> yes. <laughs> finally, finally. Oh, we finally have a shotgun. You know, things are really looking up. Things are really, really looking up today. And I I, I couldn't be happier. There we go. How's Bungalow 5? I will accept. I'm sure it's great. We got it, we got it. I can't tell you guys how excited I am to be getting this. Yes, it's not as it's not as crazy because it's not like a pump or anything, right? It's just a normal, normie shotgun. But I have been wanting to use this for a long time and I haven't been able to. Uh, I, I realized that now my bar is filled up with quite a few, quite a few different types of weapons. Uh, I will probably try to remedy that at some point. There he goes, Trader Hugh is now closed and it is officially going to be nighttime. And I, I wanted to do something special for the end of today, okay? We got our beautiful new shotgun. We got a lot of questing done. And most importantly, we got the extra motor tool part that we needed. And now, we're ready for an auger 3. We, we could wait, guys, okay? We could wait till 5. But then that means we're going to need more parts. And I, I'm not sure I'll be able to get them, okay? And I just want an auger. And an auger 3 is more than enough. Is a good enough auger that I'm happy with. And if we can get an auger by day 11, I'm taking it. And the only thing we need to do to get an auger here is going to be making a bicycle handlebar. I already have the forged steel. I have the engine. So now all I need is to craft this. Should be too hard. Let's look at what we need and then head over to the workbench. We got our 20 lockpicks done. Thank you very much. That was really crucial. And we're putting our handlebars to make. Here we go. We have the bicycle handlebar. Oh, guys, this is so exciting. This is so exciting. Craft. Oh! <laughs> two minutes. Two minutes. And we're going to have an auger on day 11. Guys, okay. Okay. I don't know how many times. How many times I have gone on a whole series without an auger. In the agility series, we didn't even get an auger till day 65. In the original Alpha 18 series, we didn't get an auger till day 55. It was a struggle. It was a struggle. But now, the game, the world, life is rewarding us. And in Alpha 19, we're gonna have a level 3 auger on day 11. Oh, here I was worried about our horde base. Here I was worried about everything. And now, we're going to have the greatest, the greatest time digging up below. We might actually be able to live underground, as it's always been my wish, but I've never been able to realize it until today. Let's wait patiently and joyously for this beautiful beast. Yes! Oh! <laughs> oh, I can't even... I can't... Words can't express. I mean, I suppose I could keep carrying this stone shovel. Uh, nothing compares, though, to an auger. That's it. That's it. That's it. We've made it. We've made it. Check out game. Do whatever you want now. Because we have it. We have it. I'm gonna be able to make so much ammo. Oh, we're gonna live it up. We're surely gonna live it up now. Let me go get some gas. And then put this puppy to the test. Yes. Yes. Oh, it's beautiful. It's like cutting through butter. Look at me. I don't need stamina. No, no, no. Everything is well. 
everything is great. Everything is as it should be. And I'm going to do something that one of our friends showed us once. And hopefully this will work. Is... <laughs> he goes down quite, quite far down and puts a pillar down. And I think that's what I'm going to do over here. I'm going to just dig my way down from here. And it should be the same one as this. Okay. And then we're just going to put a pillar from all the way down here. You know, build it all the way up. And then that way, if I have to make an insane crater in here, it will hopefully hold it up. It should work, in theory. In theory. Um, I don't know if I'll hit bedrock, but we're going for it, okay? We'll see how far down this map goes. <laughs> and we'll add blocks all the way up. And I think, I think this is going to be the most beneficial way. It's just the most stable way you could create a mine. So thank you, Wild Axeman. He is quite wonderful at making these things. Oh. Oh, I'm already... That's it. <laughs> That's how far down that goes. Um, I just want to thank you guys so much for watching this episode. I hope you enjoyed our little adventure. We went on a bit of a questing day. And we saw a lot of the new animals around. I don't think food is going to be much of an issue anymore. I'm kind of glad about the change that they've made. I mean, you still have to go out there. You still have to to be farming them, but it's, um, it's a little bit more manageable, and I think in multiplayer it will really show. But, um, the most important thing is that we got an auger. I can't tell you how happy I am. Uh, this is, this is just a dream come true. To have an auger this early in the game, as you know, it's not a thing that happens to me often. So thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Until then, bye.